Welcome back to Orizi Acres. If you've been following along, you know that we currently live in the city, but we have property out on our farm. And so right here, what I have behind us is our chicken coop that we have here at our city house. And the problem that we're facing today though, well, that we've been facing for some time now, is that we have little wild birds getting into this coop. And we think that they're bringing with them disease because we've had a couple sick chickens and we don't know why we would have sick hens. The rest of them aren't sick. We've never had sick hens before. So we're just wondering if maybe these wild birds are bringing some disease with them. And and if they are, we need to keep them out. The other problem is that we're spending a fortune on feeding every wild bird in the whole neighborhood because they slip in through these little cracks. We're not sure if it's through like a couple little cracks here in the door if they're going in, but we first had on this wire, which you can see, um, it's kind of like a two by three inch or one and a half by two and a half, and it's a very large. And so the birds would just go through it. So our solution to that was that we would put up this plastic mesh behind it and while the holes are the right size, somehow the birds are still getting in. So I collected eggs the other day and there were like nine birds flying around. We think they're the swallows, house swallows, and we looked them up, that looks very possible. So the task now is to just take down this old stuff and put up new stuff that is smaller and then it won't look um, quite as unmade either. So yeah, I don't know. We've got ever, all the corners sealed up here, which I can show you. But anyway, this, yeah, see, they can get in here, but then we have this netting here, so I don't know how they're getting in. But we didn't have, have this problem before. Even when we lived on property before we moved, we didn't have any problem with the wild birds um, eating up all of the chicken food. But that's definitely a problem now. And because this is enclosed, we end up with the swallows getting in and then they can't get out. So it's almost scary to kind of get eggs because your head is being dive bombed. So anyway, we'll take you along today and we'll show you the solution. We'll show you what we came up with. And if you have any solutions for what you've done or if you've dealt with this, please let us know in the comments. It's expensive. How much do we need? To keep out darn uh, sparrows. Is it cheaper than feeding them though? Probably. And all the disease they have, that's what bothers me. Twenty-four. The problem is, is that we need five feet by fifty feet. Okay, we changed our mind. We just got outpriced. You can't spend a hundred more dollars on more fencing. No. We'll just make it work. We'll make it work. We'll try some staples. All right, next thing. Yeah. Well, here we are a couple days later. We still have birds in with the birds. We haven't done anything yet. We're going out to reassess because we don't know if the zip ties are even going to help. We didn't really want to spend $150 on this project. Okay. I've put, we have double netting in there and I've plugged every hole up and I don't know how they're getting in. I don't know, but there's so many in there right now. Let's just watch one and see where it goes. I just, I just saw one go in here. Oh, look, it's sitting right there. Okay. We see you. We see you in there. Diseasing. Oh my goodness. Oh. I mean, are they pushing their way through this? But I, I, mean, I guess they could push through there. So there's at least 10 in here. Oh, there's more than 10. Oh yeah. There's probably 15 or 20. Do you think if I open the door, we could just let them out? Yeah. What just flew <laughs> up? This is like Hitchcock. They're dive bombing over my head. <laughs> Another one. Oh. They're all coming out! They're all coming out! Oh! 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 Oh my goodness, but most of them I got out! One stupid one is left. That was super scary though. Okay. Oh! I just watched it! Oh really? Yes. Okay, well we know where now? Yes. Okay. Oh, look at my good girls. They want to come out where the grass is greener. Hi ladies. They're not even scared of the dog. Daddy, are you keeping him in there? 
keep them in there. Uh, she doesn't care. Chicks, you're getting big. Please be girls. Please be girls. Yeah, it's not fun sharing your coop. Mommy, you need some feathers back. You look terrible. I might go get some cat food for Mama. She's losing her feathers. I'm going through a terrible molt. And before we've just popped in some cat food because it's a little higher protein and seems like it helps them with the feathers. So I'll be right back with that. All right, I went and grabbed some cat food. Uh, this says 34% of uh, protein. So I think that will help them. <laughs> Poor girl, she looks terrible. Did you want to go inside and help? I'll okay. go in now that there's no birds. Yeah. This is less scary now. <laughs> Hi ladies, back again. What? Can you just push it through? Oh, I need to go around. Yeah. Hi Casey, watch out for dog food. Uh, I gotta I watch out for chicken food. I'm not chasing you, go on. Daddy! Just send it. Tighter, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess I'll just pull that up. To go around this other corner, I see another spot. I see daylight. Yes. Ha ha! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh. Do you want to wrap it on the inside or leave it on the outside? So I think the only spot that they could possibly get through would be the door, but there's not like a landing spot. I mean, I guess they could come up to this tree and then go in, but I don't know. This is the only spot, so I guess we know if there are more birds in there, where they're coming from. What about on this side? I didn't see any other cracks. I couldn't get my hand through it. And the rest now looks good. Oh, yeah, it's nice and tight. Yeah. They really liked the treats, the cat food. It's all gone. It's all gone. <laughs> well, I think they kicked some around, but... Well, I think just a short video for today. That's all that we have for you. So hopefully it works. Hopefully we don't see any more... No more stupid birds. No more stupid birds. No more diseased chickens. <laughs> hopefully it's just good for the winter now. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.